Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to answer a question that I get asked pretty frequently on this channel and that is how do I keep my soccer cleats clean and looking new for as long as possible? And the simple short answer to that question is you can't. Now there's a couple different variables that really play a pretty big part in terms of how long your shoes are going to look new. Um, and the first and probably most important variable is which colorway that you buy. If you buy a dark colored shoe, for example black, it's going to be uh, much more resilient to uh, all types of weather conditions and the stuff that makes your shoes dirty, such as dirt, mud, grass stains, turf stains, depending on which type of environment you're playing on. Black doesn't really show much on a soccer shoe. So if you want your shoes to look as new as possible for as long as possible, black is definitely the color way to go for. And even then, black shoes will eventually start to look aged. Whereas if you buy something that is more lightly colored, for example, a white shoe, a white shoe looks old almost after the first time that you wear it. White uppers are more prone to staining, whether it be green grass stains or black turf stains. The laces generally tend to be white on white shoes, as well as the stitching, which tends to get dirty very, very quickly. And once that kind of thing gets dirty, it's very hard to make it undirty, I guess you should say. Um, the second variable that you really need to take into consideration is whether or not the upper has stitching. Stitching on an upper is what absorbs a ton of dirt. I'm sure a lot of you guys have had white laces on your soccer shoes, and you notice almost immediately those white laces become a light brown color, even if you weren't playing in a particularly muddy environment. But when you have the, the stitching on the leather upper, and it is a lighter color, it tends to absorb the dirt, and once it's absorbed it, it's very difficult to get it out and get it looking new again. I, I've heard a lot of people, I've even tried this myself, is to use a toothbrush to try and get some of the dirt out. I find that it doesn't really do much and it's not very effective in terms of removing dirt all it really seems to do is spread the dirt around and even fray the stitching a little bit which does uh, can potentially damage your shoes so for the most part once white stitching or light colored stitching on a, a leather upper is dirty it's dirty forever and that's really what's going to make your shoe look older much more quickly than it actually uh, is I should say um, the third thing to consider is leather or synthetic generally synthetics are more easily to clean um, they're more resilient to staining even if you do buy a white synthetic shoe if it does have if it doesn't have any stitching or anything on the upper for the most part you can do a pretty good job of keeping stains off of the boot and uh, there's no stitching for it to get dirty so it will look newer a little bit longer um, whereas a leather shoe that is white in color generally tends to look dirty pretty quickly and there's not much you can do about it once it's dirty after the first time. To give you guys more of a visual of what exactly I'm talking about, I have two of the exact same shoe, the Adidas Copa Mundial, one in black, which is obviously the more traditional color, and one in the limited edition white colorway. I would say that I have, in total, probably 40 plus hours on this pair of Copas right here, whereas on this pair I probably have 10 to 15 in total. Um, keep in mind that the white Copas have never been exposed to muddy environments, never really used in wet playing conditions either. Um, and you can see that the black ones look in significantly better condition simply due to the color of the leather as well as the color of the stitching. If you guys look closely at the white Copa, for the most part the leather is still very, very white. But you can see that all the stitching is not necessarily black, but it's stained uh, almost like a light brown color, just like the laces are. And even certain parts are green due to grass stains. This is just something that is unavoidable when you're dealing with a light colored shoe. And it's just like I said, not something that you can really clean off all that well. Gla grass stains will come off, but for the most part, once the stitching is stained, once the laces are stained, it's very, very difficult to get them looking new again. Now with a black shoe, you can see that because the stitching is black, because the leather is black, it doesn't really stain and uh, you can't really tell when it's dirty. So for the most part, it looks newer for longer. Of course, every shoe will show its age after a certain amount of time, especially depending on what type of playing conditions it's most frequently exposed to. And of course, how well you're taking care of them. But for the most part, if you buy a lightly colored leather shoe, it's going to get dirty very, very quickly. And there's pretty much nothing you can do about it.
Alright guys, it's it for my video on how to keep your shoes clean and looking newer for longer. Just to do a quick little recap here, the first thing and probably the most important thing when it comes to make, making sure that your shoes look new for as long as possible is buy a dark colorway. Second thing to look out for is the stitching on the shoe. If it has light colored stitching, that stitching is going to get dirty very, very quickly and once it's dirty, it's dirty forever. Third thing to keep in mind is that synthetics for the most part tend to be more resilient to staining and just looking newer longer. Um, so again, if you want your shoes to look as new as possible, synthetic is almost always better than leather. Um, so that's pretty much it for my video guys. Hopefully this answered a couple of questions for you. If you have any other suggestions for videos or topics that you guys would like to see me make, be sure to leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed today's video, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information down below in the description as well. And other than that guys, hope you enjoyed today's video and as always, thanks for watching.